All right, buckle up. It's time for some hard-hitting investigative journalism. I wanted to talk about the Uniqlo non-iron shirts versus the MJ Bale non-iron shirts. So, big fan of efficiency, not a big fan of ironing because um, it's just not something I enjoy doing. I'm a drip dry kind of guy, not a big fan of ironing. So I was like, surely someone's thought of a solution to this problem that I'm having. Turns out a whole bunch of brands have. Uniqlo has a non-iron shirt range. MJ Bale has a non-iron shirt range, but they call it like the dry and fly range. And TM Lewin also has a non-iron shirt range. However, they fit real weird, so I'm not gonna talk about them. I wanted to talk about the range, the fit, and the non-iron effectiveness of the shirts. Uniqlo, as you can see here, quite plain, just blue and white. They also have a pink and they also have a black. Um, or they have a salmon kind of thing. Um, pretty good if you're like wearing a suit and whatever and you don't want any patterns or anything to clash, that kind of thing. I'm not a big fan of salmon because it makes my nose look like Rudolph because it's quite red. Uh, and the black looks a bit Tara Kashi, so also not a big fan, each to their own. Uh, MJ Bale, their range is like quite a lot wider. Um, they also do the kind of plain uh, white, blue, salmon, black as well, but they also do a lot of patterns. Um, and they just they just sell kind of more shirts with the patterns. Uh, they are a bit more expensive as well, but they you can get them on like sale and it's all right. So the range from MJ Bell, much better. We like it. The range from Uniqlo, very small, pink and black or out of the mix. So we've only really got white and blue. Alas, what can you do? You win some, you lose some. The fit, uh, I'm a slender fellow, um, just pretty straight up and down kind of guy. Uh, Uniqlo's fit, uh, it says slim fit. I classify myself as slim, yes, I could lose a bit of weight, but um, it's a bit more boxy. It's kind of like, hello. Uh, that being said, it is a, like a, you're slimmer than your average shirt. It's quite nice, I'm a big fan. I do find that the MJ Bale ones just fit better. They're kind of like, they come in a bit more at the sides. Um, and yeah, I just kind of prefer that. In terms of the non-iron effectiveness, just Uniqlo is better. Like there's, they're just, uh, yeah, look. Let's go, let's go to the blue shirt so we can compare it like to like. That's the blue shirt right here. Um, and then this is uh, a similar blue shirt here. That being said, like it looks a lot more crinkly. Uh, that being said though, when you do put it on, the wrinkles kind of go away, but Uniqlo's is just better. Overall, I kind of like them both. They're kind of just better for different things. And um, yeah, look, they're both pretty good. Anything that can get me out of ironing is a thumbs up from me. So enjoy that review and thanks for listening.